What is up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're gonna to be reacting to jay gigs who's done a call out video to every content creator and the community and yeah this could be my first reaction video uh jay gigs he's a funny guy i really like him and yeah let's see do we agree with him do we disagree what what is he what is he calling us out for what have we done that's so terrible bruh i'm just an innocent bystander but yeah let's uh let's check out the video so I need you guys to go bug them about this a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm calling y'all out. I think I think it's time for us to try to make some sort of a change. Change this is good. Game is in such a bad state right now, and we've been gradually watching it get pulled further and further away from its potential. So true, a hundred percent. Yeah, just like fusions, for example, have just gotten worse and worse over the years. Like. Rewind two years ago, fusions used to be pretty easy. I would get them without even really trying. And now you like have to pick and choose. And they're really, that's something really hard. And you'll be getting like a trash or mediocre champion. And it's just not worth it. And yeah, it is really frustrating. Over the last several years, if the, I mean, pretty much since the game came out. Yeah, several years. Yeah, the game's about four, four years and a bit now. Maybe, maybe five years a push. And that's tough. That's frustrating to watch because the game has such a good foundation. It does. It really does. There's a lot in this game to enjoy, but Plarium almost refuses to let you enjoy it. So true. Uh, I just find that like daily there's stuff coming out that just makes it sort of harder and harder to enjoy the game because you're always missing out on something. It's almost like they're trying to do the worst things they can come up with just to see if they can still make as much money as they're. They want to squeeze money out of every single player, especially, especially I feel like they're trying to force free to play to spend. I feel like that's their big objective of 2023 making. And they must be because it's only getting worse every single day. It feels like at this point lately, I don't think anybody needs to be convinced that this is terrible. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so I don't like the way they packaged it because it does look like, um, you know, you've got 25% chance to get champions that you want. But it is better than the 10x, in my opinion. I do feel like it is an improvement. I feel like it's a slight step in the right direction. It's still nowhere near where it needs to be, but I wouldn't... And it's one of many things that's terrible. Yeah, I but wouldn't say it's awful, awful. Of them. This is this is a deliberate smack in the face. I wouldn't go that far. It's not it's not as bad as that, but it's still it is still pretty shocking. Like Sacreds, this is gonna be amazing for Sacreds. Ancient shards, not so good. Void shards, nah. But Sacreds will definitely benefit from this. So it is gonna help a little bit in some respect. And people are gonna participate in it. Well, of course we are. We, we want these because champions. Plarium doesn't care what we say. There's been a pattern for years where Plarium does the thing that they do. All the content creators make videos about how bad it is. All of the con uh, the comments echo the sentiment in the community as, as a whole, at least the YouTube side of the community as a whole, kind of expresses, we don't like this, this is bad. But then we also turn right around from that and continue to give them money. It's true. Um you know, like if I look at Discord or gen like global chat, literally people are flaming Plarium every single day, complaining about something that they've done on a daily, like not even a daily basis, like on an hourly basis of things that are happening in the game. And continue to do the fusions and buy their passes and participate in the events and tournaments and do all of the things that we just talked about how much we hate. It's kind of difficult because... Obviously, I'm doing it as free to play, so I'm not getting any money. I, I'm guilt free for this. However, there are things that, you know, like some fusions, like Gina, I had to go for it. Like, he's a god tier champion. And if everyone skipped Gina, yeah, maybe it would send a message to player and we would all be missing out on Gina as well. So it's kind of hard to sort of do that. I mean, I do skip a lot of tournaments and events, though. I don't do all of them. Uh, you know, I do pick and choose. So 
we say one thing, but then they have data and analytics and revenue that says another. It's because they, they force your hand. They force your hand. They care about the money. Of course they care about the one. money. But they also care about having analytics that back up the decisions they're making. True, true. So if, if we embrace this mindset of, well, we've got to do it because it's all we've got. They're apparently never going to stop doing fusion, so I might as well just do all the fusions. They love the FOMO. Fusions. The events are never going to get better, so I might as well just do what I have. That, coupled with the culture they've created where you're missing out if you don't do everything. If you miss this fusion, you could be missing out on the next Brogni. Yeah, fusions are tough ones. Um, I skipped the that rabbit, the attacked rabbit. I can't remember his name, like Raz or something. I regret skipping him now because I need him for finite hard. Um, but yeah, it's it sucks because it is really hard to know. You know, sometimes you can just look at a fusion for face value and they look pretty awful or they're not really going to do much for your account. And then someone finds like a niche spot for them and they just blow content away, which is really, really frustrating. You don't do this event. You're not going to get all those legendary tomes at the bottom. You're, you're missing out. Yeah. I skip so many tournaments and events now that I do miss out on legendary books and they're pretty much the only way to get legendary books apart from clan boss, which again is another thing that player need to look at and sort of fix. Cause I just feel that legendary books should be farmable. They shouldn't be like easy to get, but they should be like a dungeon for it. If you don't pull your shards, you're missing out. How can you pass up on this? You've got a 25 X chance to get blah, blah, blah. How could you pass up? They're so what I would say is I'm after playing the game for like a year, you should only pull like for the first year, only pull two X. And then after a year, start to pull during the 25s. But with 25 X, you need to be careful. If there's trash champions up for grabs, skip it, save them for the next time. And hopefully you'll have a better chance of getting the champion that you want. They're always trying to make you be empty. They're always mm. trying to make you feel like you're missing out. Yeah. Like energy is a big one for me. Um, like back in the day, like when I started first, I playing raid in the first year, energy was scarce and literally they didn't give you a lot of energy. You'd do your runs and then you'd probably log onto an ult and play that. And like everyone I knew back then had ults. Now there's like more content and stuff. And the second year was actually really good because they gave us loads of energy, but then sort of third and fourth year now there's, they've just released so much content, but not given us more energy to do that content. So Iron Twins, Shogun, um, Sand Devil, these are all dungeons that are sort of extra that we kind of have to do, but they're not giving us more energy to do it. So they're sort of taxing us on our energy. And also it's just like loads of tournaments and events now, like Dungeon Divers is one that's ridiculous now, like now you need like 6,000 points. And the amount of energy that you have to invest in that to get like the top tier rewards, it just, it's a joke. It's beyond a joke. And that you need to spend money to not be missing out. And that's got to stop. It doesn't have to be that way. There's plenty of other mobile games that are not like this. Right. And again, the foundation here is great. What games? Like, I, I don't really play any other mobile games apart from uh, Clash Royale. What, what are these other games? You need to share your knowledge, my friend. And there's a lot of fun to be had in the game. But this champion pass is the most boring lazy, uninspired battle pass I've ever seen in a game since battle passes have been a thing. Yeah, you know, it's so true. Like I never really thought about it like that. So I only really looked at the rewards and to be honest, I just thought about Xena. I didn't even look at the rewards really. But yeah, if you look at the daily challenges, they are so simple. Like, yeah, no thought has gone into it at all. And if enough people buy this, this is what they'll look like forever. They're it's not even... I'm, I don't really care about the challenges and the rewards. What worries me is that they are going to start releasing. So Xena at the moment, I would say is sort of mid tier and they're going to start releasing God tier champions. And that worries me because if they start doing God tier champions that you have to pay for, I mean, the divide between Spender and free to play is huge already, but they are just going to kill their game if they just keep releasing like God tier champions that you have to pay 40 pounds every month for. And that's not on. Like, if you think about it, like when I was a kid, I would, I could buy like a really good computer game or two really good games, 40 pounds. I could play those games for like a year and they expect us to spend 40 pounds a month on, on like on this. 
there will be no reason for them to change it or try to make it better if enough people buy it. And I worry that enough people have. But a lot of people I have. feel like as a community, we need to try to make them understand that 50,000 silver brews and clan boss keys aren't enough for something like this. No, they're not. They're, that's not going to cut it if you're trying to get our real life money. You, you, can't, you can't do a crossover and not have the champ even look like the person it's supposed to look like. Who is this lady? That's not Xena. That's Christy from down the street in a Xena costume. Whoa, whoa, whoa. To be fair, I think it does look like Xena. And to be f they they're working low poly, so it is hard to try and make the champion look as much as like Xena. I mean, like the clothes and the weapons and stuff, yeah, it, it, that is spot on. And the hair, it's just the face is slightly off. It's not that bad. And the other thing is with raid as well. You never look at the front of your champions. Like when you're when you're in arena or dungeons, or whatever, you only see the back of their head. So it's not it's not that bad. Come on, they're not trying. They don't care. This is unbelievably uninteresting. Yeah, lazy, so lazy. And they they don't care, and they don't have to care, and that's frustrating. And I think as a community, we can change that. I hope we can, man. I hope we can. I would love to see them. I would love to feel like they care about this game. I would love to feel like they care about the community. I, I, I feel like that as well. Like, I feel like they couldn't give a toss like about the game or the players. You know, I just, they should just give like, I don't know, like with this battle pass, there's one sacred as a reward and everyone's going crazy. And it's like, Dude, it's one sacred. Like, you could pull 10 sacreds and not get a legendary. It is literally nothing. I would love to see anniversary events that are something more than the number of the year it is on the banners in the events tabs, but the same events and the same shit. Third year anniversary, we got cakes and threes. Fourth year anniversary, they dropped the cakes. We got fours. <laughs> So like a really good recent example is the Halloween. The Halloween event really, it pissed me off. I was so angry. Um, gee, like, so basically there was split souls for Wukong. You get like four, which is pretty amazing. But man, the amount of resources and energy you had to put in to get them, it was just on another level. It was ridiculous. And yeah, and like for me, I feel that, you know, we play your game without us there is no game and you should reward your community. Like I did have to put, like, I burnt so much for it and I didn't even get like, there was like at least 10 more rewards I could have got like an eternal soul stone and stuff, which is kind of trash, but that's another story. But there's all these things that I could have got, but, but I couldn't because it was just so over ridiculously like the points that you needed for it. It was just like, it was just ridiculous. They don't do anything interesting. Anniversary events in mobile games are supposed to be a big deal. That's 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 supposed to be the developer saying, thank you for getting us another year in an industry where it's very tough to rack up years. This is a very competitive industry. This is tough. So when your players carry you another year, you're supposed to appreciate that. That's supposed to mean something. Yeah. We are important. We are. We are. But they have such clear disdain for their player base. Like, they, they straight up have made it clear they don't even like us. I genuinely feel that. I, I, I would even push to say that sometimes I feel like they hate us. I feel like they hate their community, and all they care about is the green. That they put a few fours, and for the fifth anniversary, they'll throw a few fives in. If that... Because again, they, they downgraded from three to four. So who knows what we're getting at the fifth year anniversary, but they don't like you. These other games, these other mobile games, some of them, it feels like they appreciate their players and it's so noticeable. It, it's kind of the difference in how a small business feels about their customers. All you need to do is just give a few rewards. Like if you just gave a couple of extra sacreds or a bit of energy, people would feel so appreciated. It's not a big deal. Like... One of my ideas is, and it, I don't think this sounds too crazy, correct me if I'm wrong, mystery shards. If you pull 500 mystery shards, I think you should get a chance to get a legendary champion. Would that kill them? No, it wouldn't. 
versus how like Walmart feels about their customers. Like, they they know that they're fine. They know they're getting your money, and they don't they don't even really want to interact with you. They don't care what you think. They don't care what you think. They care how much money they make. They care what their data says. If we go into their wallets for a change, the game will get better. And I bet you it'll get better rapidly. I hope so. I know that as the YouTube community, we're not the whole player base, and we're not even a majority of the player base, but we're enough of the player base. Oh, yeah, definitely. If we weren't, they wouldn't engage with us at all. There wouldn't be a content creator program. They wouldn't do the things with the content creators that they do. They wouldn't bother. But there's enough of us here, right? There's a, there's enough of the whale population that's engaged with the YouTube community to make a difference. We can't drive. I'll be honest. I think more people that watch YouTube are probably long-term gamers as well of Raid because obviously they're like looking like for like how to get help on dungeons or build a champion stuff and looking at raid uh on youtube and they're probably did it load so they are probably even better more valuable part of the community either whole will up but we can put a dent in their revenue yeah take that oil well there's plenty of this game to play without rewarding their nonsense continue to do doom tower farm your dungeons build your champion do arena like i love live arena uh, that's what I really want Raid to focus on. Like this was meant to be the year of PvP, and all we've got is live arena. There is so much they could do with arena, and in my opinion, PvP player versus player, that's what they should be focusing on. Not not just like crappy content like Sand Devil and Shogun. Real real content. Again, there's plenty of dungeons in the game. There's plenty to do. I've been playing the game like this for a while in the Free to Succeed series. I have I've been playing my whole life. Fusions. I tried to do one or two early on. But yeah, like, I've skipped loads of fusions uh, nowadays. I haven't done any. It's actually quite relieving. Like You just feel like you can just do what you want and there's no pressure. It's cool. It's chill. Fusions. I don't get too caught up in their summon events. If there's a good 10x or something or an extra legendary, I'll, I'll summon occasionally. I don't bother much with the events or tournaments. I have so much more fun playing this game the more disconnected I get from everything they're doing. I promise you there's fun to be had. I mean, I skip a lot of tournaments and events. You really have to pick and choose. Like For me, like now I'm doing like Dragon if there's Triple Speed or Fire Knight if there's Triple Savage. But otherwise, I'm trying to skip certain dungeons and stuff. Without participating in everything they're doing. And it's going to have to change because it's so unfun. It's so unfun. And I'm just tired of watching them treat their players like shit and get away with it. So, again, I'm, I'm kind of officially calling my fellow content creators out. I'm here, man. I'm here. React to the video. Share your thoughts on the video. If you agree or disagree, fine. I, I, I'm, I'm... I would say, like, I agree with, like, 90% of what you're saying. Just, like, there's a tiny, like, the Xena face thing and the uh, 25X but outside of that, you are 100% spot on. And yeah, it is time for the community to take a stand. And we need to sort of push back. I'm interested in the discussion, but I do believe if we all came together as a community, we can make enough of an impact that they have to start treating this game a little differently. And I would love to see this game start working its way back toward its potential rather than Me continuing too. to get aggressively yanked away from it. This game feels like it's getting worse by the day. And while I enjoy logging on and having stuff to rant about and making the skits and that's all fun for me what would be more fun i think is to log in and have this game be good and feel like playroom's actually that. trying to take it in a healthy direction and feel like playroom cared about their players a little bit um and for there to be stuff in the game that i really wanted to genuinely get invested in yeah i do feel like some of the excitement has gone from the game um pretty much just pulling shards and live arena is like the only real highs that i get nowadays you know what I mean? I have I have enough fun playing it the way I play it. And again, it's fun for me to log in and 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 find stupid shit that they do and rant about it. I get a kick out of that, and other people seem to get a kick out of that. But like, dude, can we can we try a little bit, Plarium? Can you can you try a little bit to do something good? Sometimes, just give us some I rewards. Think we can force them to, and that's I, honestly, if we just got like i don't know a five thousand energy a month just 
it would make a huge difference. Like, I think players would really appreciate that. That's basically what it's about. So it's official. I'm officially calling for the strike. Don't give them any money. I'm doing it Don't already. Don't do any fusions. Okay. I'm skipping most fusions already, but if there's a god tier one, I'm still doing it. Sorry, man. Stay out of the tournaments and events tabs. You got to do some of them. Don't participate in these stupid ass summon events they're doing. Uh, I, I need champions. <laughs> I mean, like for Christmas, I will definitely put in. Sorry. Right. If there's a good, if there's a two X is a good summon event to, to play around in. Uh, the double Lego can be fun to play around in. 10 X's in any of the X's don't do. Fuck these summon pull stupid ass events. The prim prism shards just on another level. Like, yeah, they, they are just made for people to spend. Just disconnect for a little bit from all of this bullshit. Stop rewarding them. Don't buy packs. If you need, let's talk about one real quick. If it's still here. Something like this. This is an example of one. There's, there's multiple versions of this. They're selling you fractions of a summon. That, that's a sixth of a champion. That is, yeah, that is ridiculous. Like, that, that is a real slap in the face. And I hope that you hear that. I hope you hear that for what that is. That is, they want your real life money. They're, they're offering you multiple different versions of packs for your real life money for a fraction of a summon. This is one sixth of a summon and they want your real money for that. There's another one that popped up for me that that's 10. It's gone now. I hope everybody hears how insane that is. Okay. Well, I'm going to end the video there guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you don't know who JGig is, go check him out. I will leave um, the original video. I will drop in a comment below and pin it so you guys can check out the original video. Uh, but yeah, like really, really interesting. And yeah, I think it's just something that, you know, we need to be aware of that the state of the game isn't getting healthier and it is time for change. But anyway, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe and I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.